We're joined by head coach Isaac Brown, presented by Delta Dental. Unleash your smile power with Delta Dental. And uh, unleashed your smile power a little bit with a strong finish here this afternoon. Kids kept battling. We told them it was a good basketball team. And we told them the difference between this team and um, Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State executed their stuff, coming off ball screens, hitting certain guys. This team is really talented, and they're good off the bounce. They got six, seven high major transfers, and they were a problem off the bounce. We couldn't keep them out of the paint, so we had to make a decision. So we went down and we played zone in the end, and that zone – Helped us get a huge win. I thought we thought that was a great call, and uh, it really slowed them down. They seemed to not know really what to do against it. Ended up taking some last ditch threes, and it really did kind of change the momentum. Yeah, we had to. We didn't want to foul, and we couldn't guard them off the bounce. They were so small, like they got a six six five man, so that was a problem for Morris guarding inside. I mean, our guards couldn't guard either. You know, they just kept getting to the paint, kept getting layups. And when they didn't get layups, we had to help so much, they were getting tip dunks. Finally, we went to our 75 defense to slow them up. We went back to the zone. We only made one mistake in the zone. One time we tried to trap. Right. They threw it long to the shooter, and he made a three, and we made an adjustment. But I was so excited about, you know, Clarence Munzee Jackson coming off the bench. The last game, he only played three minutes. This game, he wasn't playing early on. And I just felt like we didn't have any energy, and we put him in the game. And he got every loose ball. I think he made a wide-open shot. He did, a three. And a three. Yep. He was just incredible. And I, I tell all the young guys on the bench, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that I can't play all you guys, but if you keep a positive energy like he does on the bench, when you go in the game, you'll be ready to play. And he was huge for us tonight. Another play I thought was huge, and I know I'm talking a lot no, right no, now. No, no, go right ahead. We, we subbed Dexter Dennis in at the fourth spot, and we went to a follow five play, and he knocked down a wide open three. I thought that was a crucial shot that we really, really needed. And Ricky Council, fantastic yeah, he was, Ricky, Ricky was good. You know, he's a talented guy, and any time he play over 30 minutes, he normally <laughs> get 18 points, and he made some big shots tonight. Just so excited. He's just a freshman, and he can continue to get better. You know, more than anything, the numbers show, we, we felt like the, the way they trapped off the of ball screens and double teamed was really effective because Franklin is long and really quick on his feet, and that really makes for a tough second guy on that double team. I thought Quay Grant handled that really well, got out of it or got rid of the ball what he needed to and, and kept your offense moving. I thought he did as well, too. I thought when we ran our quick three in transition where it was just Morris Udeze setting the screen and Quay was the ball handler, Quay is so fast that he was able to reject the screen sometime and get a wide open shot. I thought he did a tremendous job tonight coming off the bench. I told those guys, it don't matter who start. It's about guys who affect the game. They're going to play all the minutes. And he played for a long stretch right there. Tyson Etienne not feeling well. He was sick yesterday and uh, a little bit labored this morning. Didn't shoot like a normal Tyson Etienne game would show us, but he sure had two big free throws late in the ball game. Yeah, he missed practice yesterday. He was sick uh, this morning. He came to shoot around. He was still feeling sick, and we didn't know if he was going to go yet. And right before the game, he told me that he could go. And, of course, like me, I wanted to put <laughs> one of the best players in, our, in the country in the basketball game, and uh, he is under the weather. I'm glad some other guys stepped up, and he'll be ready to play our next game. You know, you mentioned, uh, and, and even just in conversation with me, about how tough this schedule is this year. And I don't know if people really understood that because these are not as well-known names, some of these teams. But uh, while it's been nerve-wracking for you guys as coaches, I'm sure these first two games have really given you the kind of test that you are able to find out stuff about your team and, and find out where you are at this very early stage. I knew Jacksonville State would be a good team. They won 18 games last year. They got a great basketball coach, older guys. They are being the top three in their league. South Alabama is transfer you. He got six high major transfers, guys that chose power five schools. They are talented basketball team. Tarleton State is going to be good. Yeah, very they, good. They gave Kansas all they wanted in the first half, and that coach coached at Kentucky. So it's not going to get any easier. We got to be ready to go. Anybody can beat you, and I'm just so excited we got to win. And that's how you prepare yourself for the tough season that you're going to have in the AAC is playing teams like this, figuring out what you need to improve on and get the experience for the new guys. Yes, you got to play a tough schedule, number one, in order to get into the NCAA tournament. 
But I think playing a tough schedule helps you when you get in the conference. You don't want to play a lot of teams that you beat 40 and 50. That would be good. You know, I would like that to get some wins, <laughs> but that don't help us. So I'm just glad these teams came out tonight, and I'm glad we were able to come out with the win. Again, I give Coach Richie Riley uh, uh, great respect. He did a tremendous job. He got a really good team, and that's my hometown team. I'm, yeah. I live 25 minutes from that school. Oh. Um, I coached there for five years. I got a bunch of – family members in Mobile, Alabama. So I'll be pulling for those guys throughout the year. Well, congratulations on not only being 2-0, and but a good 2-0 and at this point in the season. Thank you, brother. Well Thank done. You for All right, soccer head coach Isaac Brown. Which